We got a bit more of the plant torn down, and we got a few signs a foul play. of foul play here. <laughs> so this rod is, looks dirty. It's been there. It's done that. But the worst part is, is this. Oh, I'm surprised that puppy didn't overheat. <laughs> oh, man. My God. That is some signs of abuse. Yeah. Foul play there. Foul play. Like you... <laughs> There's no seeing through that. Yeah, no, that's going to be a good clean up. We're getting a strip down. Side panel's lit yet. Back's pretty much down. You can definitely see the signs of foul play everywhere. <laughs> Kicking rocks on the ground. Yep. So we walk around it. But we'll set this back up as a time lapse and. Uh... So we're down to the, what is this? This is, uh, this is the breather line for the snorkels. So this has been sitting for three months. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh oh. This is no good. <laughs> not a good, not a good, really not a good. <laughs> oh man. Oh. She's even back up in the air. Man, the water's still leaking out of it. Oh my gosh. Well, you were swimming for like five minutes. Didn't know what I fucked up to. <laughs> Ouch. Well, uh, wait till we get the next one off and do a touch up. Okay, so we've jumped ahead a bit. <laughs> we got a little ahead of ourselves. So, the exhaust can's off. Derek's about to take the pipe off. Yo. And there she goes. That's her. Stock bottom gun. All this weight, I bet you there's gotta be 30 pounds. Stock unit. It's gonna look so much better. <laughs> Even muddy. Yeah. So we're taking spark plugs out of this. We know one's not liking life. <laughs> There's a few things that are... Man, these are champions, and I don't care what anyone's saying. Champions are junk. Yeah, they're burnt red. Yeah. Champions are shit. Mind you, they did do good. What do you got? 3,000? 2,000. 2,000K on it, so... For a stock champion, it's not bad. But it's getting... Now it's going with the big dogs. <laughs> big dog, NGK is... For anyone wondering the number, we'll do a close-up of it. There. That's so what you know. Yeah. Those are the best plugs you can run. I mean, having everything stripped makes this project so oh. easy to work on. Oh, I mean, like, we got a U-joint that we got to replace down here. We've got some other stuff. The lift kit's going to be a breeze being able to He's have out all this room to work. Right there. Like, just phenomenal having, having the space to do it. I wouldn't recommend doing it every time just to change plugs or something. But, well, it's uh, it's going to be a whole new machine once we get it back together. Oh, that feels. Love it. You wouldn't happen to have dye grease, would you? Uh, I don't know about that electric grease, but yeah. I think we got some electrical in there. <laughs> Maybe. Yep, electrical connection in there. There you go. That'll work. The Canadian Tire Special. Master Craft. Not sponsored. Not, not another sponsor either. All paid for. 
These rigs are built, not bought. Oh, we bought them, but now we build them. Make them better. And now, pop. This one I know is not like in life. This is the plug that's just not good. This is the one that had a drinking problem. This, yes. <laughs> the valve was definitely open. I'm sure by now you've seen the footage, so you know. <laughs> and if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> yeah, that is terrible. Uh, this one's definitely worse. I'd say that one's the one that's fouled. She's cooked red down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're both not. They're bad. You know what we do with these? <laughs> Chuck them! <laughs> if I remember correctly, these are for... Uh, Mercedes a something. Mercedes, yeah. Like an old Mercedes. They're not easy to find. <laughs> Leave it to Polaris, put a Mercedes spark plug in it. That should like life a lot more. Anyways, we'll pick the camera up in a bit when we're doing something else. Hey guys, we're back from the other day. We got it all torn down. Last night we gave it a little pressure wash, cleaned it up. Touched up the frame with some little paint anywhere there was some rust showing. So today we're gonna start uh, working on the lift kit and I'm gonna get that prop shaft out and get some new U-joints pressed in there. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. Shined up nicely, nice and cleaned up. Compared to what it was. Yep, started to do uh, fit up the exhaust. We wait till we get the prop shaft out. And now that we can see the prop shaft better, that's what we're changing. Yeah, I changed out those new joints there. Yeah. So I guess we'll get right back into the old classic time lapse. Working on uh, rebuilding this prop shaft. We've got some bad U joints. So we got it out of the. Got it out. We're just pulling out the circlips right now. There we go. So there's four little clips to hold the U joint in right in here, one on each side. So we got those all pulled out. So now we're going to find something that we can use to press this. Okay, a little bit of technical difficulties, but we have an explanation how to do this now. Yeah, so what we've done is you want to press the cap up to a point where you can grab it. So we'd press it this way. 
We then took some heat, heated up all the greasing, freed everything up, and then with a pair of channel locks, pulled the cap. Now that the cap's out, we can push it back down and continue to change the U-joint just like normal. Alright, well with a little bit of persuasion we've got the two new U-joints in, the prop shafts in place and it's all bolted up. Got some Loctite on the bolts, so it's another job done. It was not an easy one, <laughs> that's for sure. Alright, All right, so uh, we got the prop shaft buttoned up, so now we're going to start putting the lift kit in the front. And I'm uh, going to see how that goes. Hopefully it goes a little smoother than it did before. Enough. Only the left, take the pressure off. Yep. Oh. So this is the two inch bracket yeah. from high lifter. Derek's just getting the bracket tree. Oh, we also painted the rear bumper, seeing so you just saw that. Yep. <laughs> sure did. <laughs> Might have been easier without the tire, but well, we can still take it off. Just we'll pick you back up in a minute here. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Got the tire off. Makes it a little easier. Yeah. Right now, Derek's lining up, putting the spacer in. And sure, I'll pull that shock up. It's always good to have someone else around for this. Oh yeah, absolutely. Two hands make light work, that's for sure. Yeah, so I need a washer. Guns beside you, or you're gonna mock it all up. I see. Not good. Oh, that's perfect. Just the like of that. Like Derek saying, just mock it all up loose before you tighten. Yeah. That's way you know you got everything sitting. And you know they wouldn't make the bolts the same size. Yeah. No. Okay, so we got 17 there, so it's got a 17 inch. We're basically just going to show this one and then we're going to go to the classic time lapse. Just because when you see one, they're all the same. Yeah, absolutely. It's a very simple kit. Just a couple bolts. Yep. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Front one's done. Yep. And that'll gain them a full two inch of lift. So, all right. we're going to put to the classic time lapse. 